Hello everyone, my name is Leo and if you follow our community you know that we have done a video comparing the Tone Master Pro versus Arial Plexi and another one versus Arial JCM800. Also verifying how the main competitors of the Tone Master Pro were performing and I mean the Quad Cortex and the FM3. Well, the results were not so convincing for the Tone Master Pro in terms of Marshall Amps simulations. Since few days, a new firmware upgrade of the Tone Master Pro has been released, where there are also some improvements specifically dedicated to the JCM800 simulations. So the question is, is now the Tone Master Pro a good option when used to model Marshall's Amps? Let's find out. We will share two tests. In the first one, we will hear the Tone Master versus a real JCM using the same settings of the amp and comparing it also versus the FM3. We will check it out both in a riff with the drum and bass and with just the guitar. Then in the second test, we will check out how the Tone Master Pro manages the dynamic range, the bass and the note envelope tweaking the Tone Master Pro to get as much closer as I can to the real tube amp counterpart. Let's hear the test.
Okay, let's share our conclusions and our findings. At the basic settings, with everything almost to moon, I didn't notice significant differences between the new firmware and the old one. The tone master is still pretty different from the real amp counterpart and worse than the FM3. But now, with the new firmware, the tone master pro is sort to say more tweakable and it is easier to get closer to the real amp counterpart. And I found, especially the gain knob, behaving much better. With the previous version of the firmware, I had to reduce a lot the gain to get closer to the real amp. Now, the gain needs much less tweaking. And you know, when you change so much a parameter like the gain, then the whole tone is messed up and it's hard to tweak the other knobs. So actually I think this is a good firmware upgrade. At the same setting of the real amp, Fractal is still better, but now you can get much closer to the real amp than before, as especially the gain knob behavior has been improved, in my opinion. It's a real pity that the new firmware does not improve the Tone Master Pro Plexi simulation, as according to the tests I did, it is pretty far from the real tube amp counterpart. Nevertheless, we can for sure say that this firmware is a step in the right direction. Please let me know your precious and valuable opinions in the comment section below. See you soon. Bye bye.